That one's just knocked under the raft. Missy, bloody things would go away now. Look, 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 look. Whoa! I'm going to try to catch it by the tail. This guy's probably seven foot long. This is a Torres Strait. These are dangerous waters down here. They're full of tiger sharks, hammerheads and bull sharks. Not to mention the stingrays, moray eels and deadly jellyfish. Gotta love it, eh? I'm going to show you how the smart few survived. 100 feet now. About a minute. My first task is to get ashore. With nowhere to land, I'm going to jump. 50 feet now. It's too shallow inside the reef, so I'm going to drop into the deep blue waters outside. Since man took to the seas, maroon sailors have been washed ashore like this, exhausted and battered, but alive. <sighs> For any desert island survivor, the priorities are protection, rescue, water and food. But first, orientate yourself and work out your options. Here, the way to do that is to get a bird's eye view of the island from its highest point. Yeah, but that island's way bigger. It's going to have more resources on it. And as a survivor, your chances are going to be better over there. But there's a problem. Look, you can see the shark down there. Now that's going to be the challenge. They're trying to cross this stretch of water. But you know, I reckon it's worth the risk. OK, come on, let's get down to this. Well, this is a bit of sand that I want to use to get across the other island. Thing is, look, there's sharks like this one here. All in this water, I'm seeing loads of these. And that's what I want to watch out for. It's a tricky crossing of about 200 yards to the other island. I need you to stick really close to me on this. The island in Torres is probably the scariest place that I've been, really, as far as animals are concerned. There were sharks, fins, just littering the, the kind of horizon. They were everywhere, sharks everywhere. Sound guy's just prepping his kit. He's taking an abnormally long time about it. <laughs> Come on, Paul. We've been doing this for about 20 minutes. <laughs> and all I'm seeing is fins going left, right, left, right. Dip, dip, dip. Dip. I need you to help me keep an eye out, though. Oh. What's that? So it's shot. Shot past my legs, then. Go on here, speed up, get moving. Less than 100 yards to go to safety. But suddenly, there's something between me and the shore. Oh, look, we've got a shark here. Just there. OK, stand still, don't move. Stop panicking and thrashing around. Send, sends out a signal you're vulnerable and you're potential prey. There's an eight-footer coming straight for me. This is no time to panic. But at the last moment, he turns away. That's my chance to get across. Come on. Don't worry about that. Let's just move. Come on. Come on, stick with me. It's amazing you get that sudden surge of adrenaline. OK, good job. Let's go. Survival is about balancing risks with benefits. So that crossing will be worth it if this island offers more resources. Taking a journey like this, you want to ensure that you have the necessary energy to succeed. And that means being well fed and well watered. See if this is filled up. This banana water will rehydrate me and give me a quick shot of useful minerals like potassium. With a sustainable supply of water to return to, the next priority is food. Much more for an energy sapping sea crossing. So I'm after a big catch. And back at the shoreline, I've noticed an increase in shark activity. This makes me cautious, but also gives me an idea. Just seeing a lot of fins around in this shallow lagoon here. I reckon if I can get a hold of a shark that's small enough, 
Might well be able to get it out and onto the bank. Shark meat is a good source of protein, but for a lone survivor, catching one is a difficult and highly dangerous option. Put a bit of bait out for them. Sea cucumber guts. Sea cucumbers are animals that feed on decaying marine matter, but the sharks aren't going for their innards. Time for bait plan B. I actually say that P attracts sharks. The urine, see if that'll work better than the guts of a cucumber. Urine is a sign of distress in some sea mammals and might arouse the interest in nearby sharks. Keep an eye out. So she look, there's one coming in over there. Finally, a shark is coming into the shallow water and within my range. Just hold your ground. You'd never want to try this unless there was no other choice. I'm going to try to catch it by the tail. This guy's probably seven foot long. But make one mistake and it could deliver a potentially lethal bite. I've missed him and he's gone. Man, that fast. Oh, this is hopeless. With a difficult and strength sapping sea crossing ahead of me, there's still a need for high energy food source. There's some trash washed up here, but finding just something as simple as a bit of hosing like that is actually giving me the advantage back. It allows me to make a spring loaded weapon. It's going to give me more speed. I'm going to make a simple bamboo harpoon. It's a basic design that's been used for centuries and is still in use today. And what this does gives me back the advantage of speed. I'm on the lookout for the bigger fish that congregate near the reef. But without goggles, it's impossible to see clearly in salt water. So I've adapted a plastic bottle as a viewfinder. Even with more power in my harpoon, I'm having no luck in choppy waters with limited visibility. But I spotted something that might be an easier catch. There's a lobster down there. But he's out and I've got a clear shot. No, straight between the, between the eyes. No, that's killed him straight off. There's a painted rock lobster. Look at the size of that tail. That's going to be good food. Lobster tail is considered a delicacy all around the world. But in island communities, other parts of the animal are just as desirable. And all of the brain is a real delicacy in some parts of the world. But I know where I want to go to. There. The tail. That's what I've been looking forward to. And on the basis that good survival is about keeping your morale up, this is good morale. Wow.